Ion used to be my personal favorite MMO. I played it before Terra. I played it during Terra. I played it after Terra. It was an MMO that I had always returned to because it had some of the greatest tab target combat in the genre. Some of the most challenging content, the best open world PvP, but that isn't what Ion is in 2024. I played Ion in 2023. I did a video on Ion in 2023. I played Ion in 2022, 2021, 2020, 2019. I've continued to cover Ion every single year since I began this channel, even returning just two months ago to see if anything had changed. And you know what? It hadn't. And I could definitely do a video on this again, stating why it is the exact same game it has been for the last several years that I've played it. But I think that that would be a waste of my time and yours. What I want to do instead is bring in the community. That's right, I went over to Reddit and one of the largest Discord communities for the game to ask players what they thought of the game in 2024. And the answers were unexpected. Before we delve into Ion, however, allow me to thank my incredible patrons over on Patreon. Your guys' support is why I can continue to make videos like this every single month, and I deeply appreciate you all being here for me. There were dozens of community members that lent their time for this video, and while I can't include every single person, I do want to say thank you to the Ion community for giving me the opportunity to condense a lot of your thoughts into a single video, addressing where the game is currently and whether people should bother with it. Do note, this does not pertain to Ion Classic. I do have a separate video coming for that soon. I guess we're gonna go ahead and start this off pretty rough as one of the very first comments left was, oh boy, retail doesn't have a single good thing. Not a single good one. Retail is a complete mess. That is very reassuring. Retail is a casino game disguised as an MMORPG. And admittedly, that is, uh, that is saying something given how horribly pay to win most MMOs are. Only good thing about retail are its visuals overall, graphics, and general looks. And this is actually something I can agree with. I've always found Ion to be an absolutely stunning game, especially with their character models. Used to be one of the best PvP oriented MMOs with great combat and at the time even great visuals. These days, I don't play it. That's the best thing you can do with Ion. It's one of the worst pay to win games. Real money trading is very rampant and people who still play the game wholeheartedly support it. Stay away. You know what, I, I feel like GameForge or NCSoft should hire this guy right here to review bomb their competitors. Retail is a complete mess. No players left. That is also how I felt while I was playing it. Ion Retail is a shadow of its former glory. Rampant pay to win, unchallenging or grossly overtuned PVE, and extremely unbalanced PVP nowadays. There is no future for Ion Retail in any region, including Korea, it is amazing that the retail servers are still up and running and I believe they will shut down within the next two years. The story is not fleshed out, the combat is changed, pay to win and unbalanced, no new players to level with and just generally unfun. Honestly, I feel as though the servers are still up because if Ion shuts down both NCSoft and GameForge lose one of the only MMOs that they have left. Answer to all questions, not trolling, do not play retail. Valid. Only feedback you need, nothing drops, open world impossible to farm, you either buy Kina from shady websites or directly from GameForge on the cash shop. Honestly, that is a very rough state to be in. There's not much to say about retail, but on the contrary, we've, <laughs> we've actually seen a lot about retail so far. It just so happens to not be very good. In the current state of both games, and future as well, because we can see the future of both following Korea, those videos, if done using the honest opinions from players, will certainly not be good for the future of the games in the West IMO, unfortunately. Retail is not even worth checking, TBH. And I, I, I actually do believe that it is important that we get the honest opinions from existing players. The perception of the game shouldn't be warped or distorted from players that don't play the game or from the studio who wants players to think that the experience is different to what it actually is. Retail just went to pay to win and the game changed so drastically that it lost all aspects that made Ion fun. Everyone has too much HP and outplaying and rotations lost its importance. It feels more like Tekken who spams skills faster and has bigger wallet wins. Bot problems turned into auto bot spam in the game itself. People using cheats and no animation was solved with X forms that basically removed almost all the animations. Too many systems in the game that made pay to win really impactful. And the game is really confusing. 
I think anyone agrees that retail is a lost cause and classic is the only option for Ion at the moment. This is true, it is. Ion lost a lot of its identity a few years ago. I don't think I've had really any fun in this game in years, even though I've played it every single year since I began this channel back in 2017. Ion is an old unique MMO known for its PVP and combat and different tech in its engine that diversifies its gameplay. Ion is different in how fast its PVP generally plays and that there is open world PVP unlike most MMOs. Its PVE instances have gotten better over the years to match other MMOs in competition, but they have never been the greatest content. In retail, I don't know, the game quite literally can play itself with the auto battle shit. Retail went downhill a long time ago, everyone has a patch that they couldn't stand anymore, but quite frankly, now it is not even worth playing. Honestly, Ion Retail does not work playing and hasn't for a long time. I, I can actually relate to this. When I saw autoplay for the very first time, I, 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 I'm not kidding, I actually hit Alt F4. I could not believe that that was a feature inserted into this game. I put the game down, I contemplated not even coming back to it. I waited an entire week before letting my frustration dim and actually getting back into the game and continuing to push through it. I struggled to progress through the game to see if it improved. Spoiler alert, it didn't. Ion knows its niche and tries its best to fill it, hence why mainly veterans keep the game alive. It has an extremely small but very persistent player base and strong sense of community that does take good care of its love-hate relationship towards each other. Despite not targeting a mass market, Ion did try to borrow mechanics from easy to implement and extremely profitable systems within mobile games. The game is deeply infested with pay to win and designed around not playing it, but let it play itself. If you need dopamine, pay up. Otherwise, it's one frustrating ride. The game is unsalvageable, hence why the developer decided to focus on a classic variant instead. I've noticed an abundance of mobile features inserted into Ion while playing it. Almost enough where I believe, I could argue that NCSoft don't need to create an entirely new game for Ion 2, their mobile spinoff. Rather, what I believe they need to do is just port over current Ion retail to mobile. It's already mobile enough as is. It's sad to say, but Ion for several years now has been a dead game. Not enough content, no progression possible without a maximum cash shop, a minimum doesn't bother me, an abandonment of servers by players, and above all, developers who have abandoned the idea of making real content. Now it's full of cheaters, bots, a crappy pseudo event, a battle pass, and empty servers. Even if I really loved it for years, it makes me sad to see it. Once again, but, this game no longer has any future, even more so with the release of Classic, which will have accelerated the death of the game. That does seem to be fairly true from what I've seen from other commenters. Ion is one of these old games that did some of the original MMORPG stuff correct, and then started doing more and more streamlining towards monetization without providing incentives to play the game. I, I do genuinely loathe when studios prioritize short-term profits over the longevity of the game. You'll achieve more with reduced earnings, but significantly more players than you will with no players due to a mass exodus of unhappy gamers. Which interestingly enough, is something that none of these MMO studios seem to realize. It is not about the short-term profits. It is about the long-term and this focus on the short term has driven many, many free to play MMOs into an early grave. Evidently, the general consensus is not very good. There were a few instances of praise, but for basic systems like the combat or the graphics, rather than the current iteration of the game as a whole. Looking at the social media pages, Twitter doesn't get any real interaction at all, maybe a like or two here and there. Facebook is slightly better. Reddit has less than half a dozen posts over the last week. From what I've seen on Discord, it is much more active, but even that's pretty small. Korea hasn't received really any updates in the better half of a year. And it seems as though NCSoft and GameForge both, North America and Europe, will likely dry up soon as well. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Ion announced an end of service at some point before the end of 2025. Again, huge shout out to the Ion community. More specifically the community over on reddit and discord you guys really helped put this video together and lend it validity because they are the thoughts and opinions of players that have spent hundreds or thousands of hours 
in the game playing every aspect of it and your guys opinions matter now if ion isn't an mmo that is of any interest to you absolutely no problem i got you covered with two videos on screen right now that might be more up your alley 